The voices of campus, community, and political leaders, Black Greeks have been changing the world for over 100 years. Join me as we explore the world of entertainment, politics, community, and more, and the various ways Black Greeks will impact the world for 100 years. Everybody makes praline candy, but you haven't had pralines until you taste it. Wash Allen's Pecan Praline. Wash Allen's Pecan Praline Candy, the best pralines ever made. From Gussie's Kitchen, made with natural ingredients. You haven't had pralines until you taste it. Wash Allen's Pecan Praline. Hello, I'm Dr. Barbara Fortes, your host of Learning for Ownership. What great power is packed in those two words. I hope you will join me on MJWJTalkRadio.com when we discuss learning for ownership principles and how they apply to every facet of life. Welcome back to the Wash Allen Show. Just stepped up to a gentleman here. Don't even know who he is, but he might he might belong with the wine. Let's see, what's your name, sir? I'm Gary Nichols. Do you know anything about the wine? I'm retired here? after 50 years oh, with the wine. So you've been around then? Yes. Let's see. Let's see. You probably knew Mr. Uh, Meese? One of my dearest friends, Quentin really? Meese, and I worked in the YMCA at the same time. And of course, he was 100 years old, and I love him as a, as a father. And, uh, and he, he, met, he founded this program, yeah. which has become a national program of the YMCA, yeah. and, and he's, uh, he's revered around here. Here I have with me uh, one of the top philanthropists and public servants of our city of Houston, the man in the name of Dr. John Stanford, Jr. All right. So, Doc, here we are at the YMCA. What do you think? I, th I think this event is uh, very uh, great. It's uh, recognizing people for their achievement, uh, especially the young people. Mm -hmm. And uh, we hope that uh, this event will inspire others to continue to do what they do daily and to achieve in their own fields of endeavor. All right. Dr. John Stafford, everybody. Thanks a million, Doc. Thank you. Yeah. special guests here and of course I, I love talking with her because people always ask about uh, Karen Carter Richards they always say is that Donald Carter's daughter and uh, I'm gonna ask her now are you <laughs> yes, I, I figured that see well um, Karen you're here at the YMCA what does this mean and tell me something what do you want to say Oh, watch. We're glad to be out here tonight. Overtime is here to help celebrate the young achievers, and we're just glad to be in the house to cover them and give them the recognition that they're due. And I think that uh, the four times always, you guys make it to a lot of places. Don't you? Oh yes, oh yes, <laughs> keeps us busy. Yeah, man. And they so all you gotta do is is pick up one. You know, you guys are everywhere, by oh, the way. Yeah, definitely. I mean, everywhere. I walked in Kroger's. To, to, to get Wash Allen's yeah. Pecan Freedom Candy, there the paper was. Yeah. H-E-B, right? Yes, the uh, Valero's everywhere. Everywhere, yeah, so really we can't even keep up with it. I gotta get some more staff. <laughs> I know, I know, that's right. Hard for you to remember, right? Right, right. Exactly. This is Karen Carter, everybody. She's the publisher of the Houston Forward Times. Thank you, Karen. Thank you, Wash. Here we are, and I'm talking with the one and only Mr. Jeffrey L. Boney. So here we are at the YMCA, and uh, I know that you, are you familiar with the YMCA? Oh, very familiar. When I was growing up, when I was little, I used to always go to the South Central YMCA in the Third Ward, right by Texas Southern and Yates High School, and, you know, that's where I first learned how to swim. Really? Absolutely. They, they actually threw us in the water and told us to figure it out. But no, I mean, I'm very appreciative of the YMCA and it's done a lot in the community. Still a member of the YMCA, actually, uh, me and my family. What is your name, sir? Uh, Carlos Jackson. Dr. Lawson Howard. Hello, I'm Lakeitha Green. Bernicia Edwards. Bernice Dickey. And my name is Will Cooper. Maya Carroll. My name is Sade Campbell. My name is Marie Brown. My name is Andrea Berry, Josetta Baldwin, Heather Brown, Glenice Brumfield, Paul Cannings, Jamaica Coven, Gregory Daniels, Shakina Duran, 
Mark Foles. Bernita Harris. Nicole Johnson. Hi, I'm Addie Johnson. Christy Johnson. I'm Lola Lisa. Lola Lisa King. Uh, my name is Lamont Perkins. <laughs> Vanessa Reed. Kim Roxy. Tiffany Sam. Melody Williams. I have a gentleman here by the name of Seven the Poets. Seven the Poet. Seven the Poet. Uh, tell me about how you spell that. S E seven E N. And ladies and gentlemen, he's more than a poet, really. You, do you write your but you? But of course, it's all original. All original. Well, I, you know, I've been around a lot of artists that I was managing many years ago, Bobby Womack, the OJs, and I know how creative those guys were in writing. Sometimes they would wake up in the morning and write. <laughs> get up, get up. Have, they've dreamed about some words. I do that. <laughs> Yeah, but you have really put it together. So what is your occupation? Uh, by day, I'm an educator in Galena Park ISD. That's where you write about education a great deal. Yes, yes. I feel that, that uh, some of the struggles uh, that we face in education, I think it needs to be brought to the forefront. What's your name? My name is Gina Beatty. Gina, you're so spritey. You look like you're so happy. <laughs> I am happy. I am happy. I'm excited to be here. I was an achiever last year. Oh, really? Yes, and this year I'm performing, so I'm excited. I'm going to be doing some spoken word. And I'm talking to? Cheryl Cole. And my executive producer was telling me that you, this is your 20th year, or something like that. Did you yes, say? Sir. Yes, sir. You don't look any more than 20 years. Wait a minute. <laughs> How can you do all that? I was a baby. No. <laughs> all right, we'll take it like that. So tell me something, how do you feel about all this and what's going on? It's a great, great event. Um, as she said, I have been volunteering for 20 years. I was a 1993 achiever myself. Oh, okay. Yes, and um, I took on the role after that, and I've been working with them ever since, and this is my 20th year. We'll be right back with The Wash Allen Show. Saturday, Saturday, Sunday, Saturday, that's it. What's the total? Well, it sure is obvious. We know what to do. Okay, I'll get right on it. At Bayway Lincoln, when our customers say they want us open on Saturday, our owners know what to do. Good job, Lena. That looks great. Hey, so it's official. We'll be busy on Saturday. Yes, but shouldn't that say now open Saturday? Um, Bayway Lincoln, now open on Saturdays. This is Attorney Waverly Anomaly. Does your criminal record stop you?